So I don't know about you, but whenever I go on a trip, I'm always really focused on capturing memories. And of course, this can be really easy in this digital age with your camera or your phone, but sometimes it's nice to have a little journal to have your physical artifacts all in one place. So I'm going to show you some easy ways to make a travel journal so that you can have your own physical book to remember your trip. So the first thing you got to do is go on a trip. Here in the next 10 seconds is my trip to New York. So in order to make an art journal, of course, you're going to need a journal. Here's this little journal I got from Muji. It was very cheap and I took it with me on my trip. I didn't want anything too fancy just in case I lost it. And of course, you're going to need a writing utensil. Thank you to Bastion for sending me this fountain pen for me to try out. It was the only pen that I brought with me on this trip and I only put in ink at the start and I didn't have to refill it. So it lasted me the whole trip, which was great. If you would like to check out their products for yourself, you can use the discount code AW20 and get 20% off all of their products. So if you have some time, do some in the moment journaling. Just sit down and do some drawing or writing if you're able to. I was only able to do this about once or twice because I was really busy just frolicking around New York, but kind of just draw your surroundings, write how you're feeling, the sounds you're hearing, the smells you are encountering. It's just really nice to do, especially if you have some extra time. It's also great to just practice some sketching, plus people see you and think you're really cool and that you're the main character, so it's a win both ways. But actually in reality, you're probably going to make this art journal once you've returned home, just because all the busyness is gone and now you actually have time to make stuff in your journal. So my biggest piece of advice on your trip is to just collect everything, just keep it all in the journal and then bring it back and you'll arrange it later. So keep things like ticket stubs, receipts, postcards, anything you want. I know there's also been some kind of discussions about whether you should keep receipts or not because they might be toxic. So use it to your own discretion. I don't do it as much as I used to. So just keep that in mind. But you can also print out photos that you've taken. Sometimes I go to like a photo lab and I get like high quality prints, but I'm currently in my poor era, so I'm just take these from my printer. But basically the main goal is to have lots of materials so that you can make a scrapbook in your journal of all of your adventures. So now that you have all your materials ready, it's time to get started on your pages. Also, don't throw away your scraps, they're always useful. The first thing I like to do is kind of put the big things down on the page so I kind of map things out, I'll know where things are going, and it kind of determines the direction of each page. Then I can start noting the details. I can put in the date, the location, the weather, I can describe my surroundings, the people that I went with, any noteworthy events or experiences, you know, you can even put in the sensory details, kind of the sight, the sounds, the smells, what you tasted, what you ate, everything that you kind of saw that made that place unique. I kind of use a more free, loose type of writing when I do these journals, kind of like I'm talking to a younger version of myself and I'm not too focused on it being perfect or anything. It's more kind of just, here's what happened, here's what I thought would happen, here's what didn't happen. Like here's the highlights and here's the challenges and that was what happened today. At the end of the day, this journal is for you and for you only unless you choose to share it with others. So just make sure it's personalized to fit what you want. One thing I really like about this Bastion pen is that it's very easy to get into a flow. I found that when I was sketching with it, it was kind of hard to use just because I haven't used fountain pens that much. But when I was writing, it was very easy to get into a groove with it and to just let the ink flow. I didn't see things being very harsh or hard. It was very smooth. So now you've kind of seen some examples that I've done. It's not very hard to do. Kind of just place your artifacts or the materials that you've gained in one spot and that kind of maps out the direction that you're going and then you can just fill it up with words and writing you can always use stickers and things like that you can do drawings even if you feel more inclined to sketch i think that's what makes art journaling and travel journaling so fun is that you can use so many various formats you can use sketches doodles photographs tickets stubs receipts anything to just complement your words this is me here going back and putting in a title because that's kind of important to have so make sure you have a title one thing I might also recommend is that during your trip, just take little notes in your phone because you never know what's going to happen and you'll probably forget. So take little notes at the end of the day, especially if you're tired, 
because you might not be able to have time to write it all in your journal, but you want to remember it. So embrace the unexpected, you know, allow your journal to evolve with whatever comes your way. If you have unexpected encounters or detours, make sure you write that down because that's always a good memory to have. Um, you know, it's not always going to be perfect, so make sure you write down the things that don't go right because those end up being like the funniest things that happen on your trip. So you will revisit it and you will be glad that you wrote it down. You know, I think in the moment when I'm doing my journals, I'm like, I don't need to write this down. I'm going to remember it. But then I'll look back on journals that I've made a couple of years ago and I'll be like, oh yeah, like I remember that happening now, but I wouldn't have remembered it unless I wrote it down. I know it can be very conflicting when the world is very much live in the moment and enjoy the present time, but at the same time wanting to preserve memories. So just when you're out on your trip, take some notes on what's going on so that you can go back and revisit it later when you journal. One thing that I did that helped was that whenever I was at a place that really felt something moving for me, I just took a picture of it and then I put it in my camera roll so that when I revisited my pictures later, I knew what I wanted to talk about so that I could print those photos out and put it in the journal. So here's a little flip through. The first day you can see I tried journaling after the Taylor Swift concert. It was literally 2 a.m. and I couldn't be bothered. So not every page is gonna be perfect, I'm sorry. So some of the pages here, like you can see, I did them when I was at home, so they look kind of a lot more aesthetic. But, you know, your journal's yours. Um, sometimes they're gonna be really cute. Sometimes they're just gonna be from the heart. So all that matters is that you love it and that it's for you. So the next time you travel, I hope you bring a journal with you, make a travel journal. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.